What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Justin and like always you're here with Just Inked. If you're new to the channel, welcome. In this channel we pretty much talk about all things that are tattoo related, my experiences and opinions on certain topics, and then most importantly my journey into getting tattooed and eventually working towards my bodysuit. So if you guys don't want to miss a video and you want to come with me on that journey, please go and hit that little red button that says subscribe. It really does mean the world to me to see this community grow and grow and grow. So in today's video, it is a very subjective topic in terms of there's no right or wrong answer. And that is for tipping your artist after you've gotten a tattoo. Now, I'm going to give you guys my personal opinion on the topic. I'm going to tell you what I personally done and what I personally believe. But I'm also going to tell you what some artists believe as well. Because I've reached out to a couple. They've wrote back to me and I'm going to show you what they've said. So, I hope you guys like this video. Like always, let's get to it. Let's go. So I've been asked this question quite a bit and you know what? I've never really had a straight answer to give somebody. I remember the first time I really got this asked, I was getting my tattoo done and somebody that I was also getting their tattoo comes up and they're like, how much should we tip? And at that time, I really didn't have an answer for them, but I really thought about it. And now I really do have an, a better answer or better guidance for all you guys that are debating on what you should tip, how you should tip. I'm going to break it down into what I believe is the four factors into tipping your artist. First one is where you live. The second one is financial status. The third one is, and this is probably the biggest one is your artist. And then the fourth one is how you feel after you got that tattoo and when you're leaving. So I'm going to go into more depth on each one. So let's get into the first one. So the first one, like I said, is where you live. If you live in North America, it is most likely that you have come accustomed to tipping. Now it is just customary to tip your shirt in any service you get, whether it be, you know, getting a haircut, tipping your waiter or waitress, you know, those are some things that, you know, we just have to do now. We, we've come custom to it. And that is the 15, 18, 20% rule tipping on, you know, their service. I'm going to get into this. I don't really believe tipping for a tattoo is the same amount and goes on the same basis. But like, say you live in Korea, China, Australia, Japan, all those places, tipping isn't customary. So you don't have to really tip for a service. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't tip. I mean, any kind of money somebody gets is great like greatly acceptable and i would love it if i got extra money for what i did but you don't have to and it's not expected especially in those areas but most of us live in north america and we are customary to tipping so that's just the first one so the next one is your financial status a lot of us don't want to drop more money on top of what we're already spending i believe if you're going to get a tattoo you should be already thinking about saving that tip into the tattoo some people are more well off than others and are able to tip out more than say somebody else's like I had one guy he messaged me and he said how much should I tip and I'm like what's your financial status he's like I'm a student and I'm like you know what man just be straight up with the artist like even if you love this tattoo and like you can only afford say $50 to $100 I'm sure that they'll understand and appreciate whether it be a little or a lot I'm sure they I'm not a tattoo artist so I can't speak for them but I would imagine that just the appreciation of you giving me something is what means the most and what I would actually just in the end at the end of the day love. So I have an example for you guys here. This is one of my artists that goes to the shop I go to. I uh, DM'd him and I asked him the questions about, you know, tipping. This will be a good example for you guys to know and see what an artist believes and feels. So I pretty much started off the combo. I just said, hey bro, what's up? Glad to see you're traveling and all. And then I said I had a question for you and that is about tipping your artist he said right away i think in the states and canada is part of the culture he says pretty much he lost his airpods in denmark when he was there he told the customer and the customer comes the next day with a new pair of airpods for him so instead of tipping him money he, he tipped him airpods which is great that's a, that's a great tip too and then you know plus an email like this and you guys can see just he says i just want to say thank you i'm so happy with the way my tattoo turned out so and then he goes on to say that is priceless and you know more than money, man, I feel blessed. So, and then I go on to ask him, I just said, money doesn't have to be everything. It should be just um, appreciation and respect aspect of it. So as you guys can see, it's not always money that you need a tip. It can be somebody brings them food or they bake them something or, you know, they help them out in some way. So a tip doesn't always have to be about money. It can be something else. Obviously money is always a great little extra, it's extra cash in your pocket, but it doesn't always have to be that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below with another good tipping idea is to your artist that maybe 
doesn't have to do with money. Um, there are many ideas. I would love to see what you guys do and probably give other people ideas as well into tipping their artists, say they don't have the cash for it, but they can do something else for them. So go ahead and do that for me, please. Number three, it is your artist. And this is probably the biggest one. The reason why I say this is the biggest one, because I really judge my whole ta my whole tipping around this aspect and that is is the artist professional does he show up on time is he holding up to the standards of being clean and then also is your artist just a nice person does he make you feel welcome does he make you feel happy to be there is he uh is he accommodating to your needs say you need certain things is he accommodating to that those are little things i want you to know in the artist and then the last tip i have for you guys is you know just how you feel after getting your tattoo done like i'm going personally for this every time i've gotten a tattoo i have left so happy and so excited about what i've gotten on me it's it, it just blew my mind it was better than i expected i no longer thought about the money. I just want to show my appreciation. And I, I, I sometimes I had $80 and I'm like, you know what, man, here's an extra 20 just because my mom did the same. My sister did the same. They tip more just because they've walked out so happy with the piece, the experience of the artist and all that. So those are the tipping factors I have for you guys. I hope it really helps out. Now I have one more Convo I have with another artist. This is from my sister's artist. I asked him how he feels about tipping the artist and, it, and I'm gonna show you the combo right now here. He pretty much again says the same thing. He says it's great to get a tip and money especially but it's not expected and they just really care about you showing appreciation and respect towards all the hard work that they put into that. They put a lot of painstaking hours into the design, into sitting down with their back hunched over and just constantly going at it. So the main thing and the main thing to take away from this is just to show your respect in any way you can possible. Anything really helps, I, I believe. And we shouldn't be basing it off the 15, 20 and 15, 18, 20% rule that it applies to in most service industries because it's a little bit of a different service. I hope this video helps you guys out and come into a, a conclusion on what you should tip your artist. Just show your respect towards them, show your appreciation. And that does go such a long way in terms of them remembering you and maybe helping you out next time when you get another tattoo by them. Go drop a thumbs up if you really did like this video and you think it helped you out. And also, again, comment uh, what you think about tipping. Should you be tipping them the 18, 15, and 20% rule? Or do you believe tipping them anything and showing your appreciation and give maybe some ideas that you've done? But I hope you guys like this video. Like always, guys, Justin out.